Yeah, welcome to this next session on SSIS. I basically decided to make this episode because we have um, I ran into trouble where I had to do an incremental load of tables from a source to destination, and I couldn't get a lot of help online, so I started like I'm playing around. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take you guys through what I need to do here. So we have two databases: we have the source database, destination database, and the source. We have the employee table, check it over there, and then in the destination we have the very same table. But what I want to do is I want to I want to trace the um, I want to monitor the source for any inserts and updates or deletions, and then insert that into the employees table and the destination based on that. So incremental load. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with that. What we'll do is we'll start with the blank project here, loaded data flow task. Let's call this very first one insert and update. Okay. Once you're in, you open it up. You grab your ODB source. Drag it in there. Let's connect the source up. Source. Doop. Cool. So step one, we select from there. So now I'm just going to say cool, select from, yeah. Let's go. Let's say columns. That's the select from from the source. Done. Let's call that the source. Okay, next next up, I'm just gonna do a multi cast split over there. Try to boop, drag it into there. It's basically a split the source into two, and then we're gonna bring in the lookup. Now this is where the magic happens. Lookup. We drag it from there to there. Inside the lookup, we set it up to full cache. Let's just set this up so it is. I'll put connection. It's connected to our destination. I'm going to check it in employees, the columns. We're going to. Okay, so down there, this is the, 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 the magic thing. So what? Um, is the primary key we're going to monitor for duplicate. So from the source, it's ID to ID in a destination. Of course, we're going to check it for the ID. Okay, so excellent. Doop. Look up. Once we're done there, we can create the construct the LEDB. Okay, cool. So let's quickly get the source in there or the destination. Destination in there. Look it up. But we're going to take the no match output, so anything that couldn't find um, the record um, between the two employee tables. Yes, let's quickly open this guy up. This goes to the destination. That's correct. We're going to load it to what table? Load it to the employee table. Let's quickly map it. That's perfect. Okay. Cool. Let's so save. Okay, so now let's quickly look at the <coughs> destination tab. You see it's got nothing inside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run it. Let's quickly run it. You can see it's now going to not find any values. It's going to insert four records. So if we quickly look here again, four records are in there. And that's brilliant. So let's say, for instance, I delete one of these records. So we... Like employees, we delete uh, this one. If I rerun it, it's only going to insert one. Rerun it. It's only going to insert one row. Cool, and let's rerun it now. Let's reopen it, see what happened. Cool, it's back. Cool, that's great. 